Hi friends, Bree here. I am a member of the uh, South Point team and I wanted to share my testimony with you today. Um, a lot of this is um, something I've never shared before. So I just pray you'll be uh, patient with me as I will um, read some of what I wrote down. I consider my childhood to be anything but traditional. My parents divorced when I was three and I have no memory of them together. My mom ended up remarrying a military man and by the age of 10, I left my home in Hawaii and we moved to Texas. Talk about a culture shock. <laughs> I remember attending Catholic church on and off. I never felt a connection or a relationship with God. It was a lot of kneeling, songs I didn't know from an old book, and miserable looking faces all around me. It was as if we were all there, well, because we were supposed to be. I remember thinking, well, at least we get to go to brunch afterwards. This continued on and off till maybe around middle school. My childhood was very lonely. No connection to a youth group, no mentors in my life, no lessons in how God will always be by my side, no one to talk to. I missed Hawaii, I missed my dad, I missed the beach, I missed my family and my cousins out there. I truly wondered if I would ever feel like I belonged. High school changed some. Um, I dabbled in some churches, worked really hard so I could buy a car, joined the high school dance team. I graduated early with plans to get back to Hawaii as soon as I can, only to get in a major car accident two weeks later and end up having three plastic surgeries. This was devastating. <laughs> Finally, I made it back to Hawaii at the age of 21. Went to college for sign language interpreting, lived in Waikiki, and had a group of girlfriends I thought were genuine. I went to Calvary by the Sea Church with my dad and felt somewhat connected, but still an outsider at times. I had no relationship with God, no real connection, no confidence he was in control and that he loved me no matter what. I ended up in a very abusive relationship and married a man I thought was a Christian. I felt trapped. I was filled with panic attacks, anxiety, loneliness, I was heartbroken, scared, and told the Bible said I could never leave. This tumultuous relationship finally ended with him committing adultery. And I felt as if maybe God was saying, it's okay, you can leave now. I moved to Southern Maryland to be closer to some family and started digging myself out of this miserable hole. After trying a few churches, a friend recommended South Point. It was way out of my comfort zone as far as church life goes. I have vivid memories looking back on those first few Sundays, just looking around thinking, these people look so happy. <laughs> These people are singing with joy. As my comfort level with South Point grew, I continued to battle feelings of worthiness, love, and starting new. And then one night, I felt him. This is the closest I feel to having that aha moment, not knowing at the time, but where I committed myself to the Lord. It was another night of crying myself to sleep. 
feelings of lost and loneliness taking over with no end in sight. I was literally crying out to God for help. What was wrong with me? Why wasn't I good enough? And then I felt his embrace. I physically felt him hugging me. I remember that feeling of comfort. I started feeling a calming presence and slowly fell asleep. Fast forward 10 years. I've now been married for uh, over six and a half to a wonderful Christian man. I have three stepkids and a four and a half year old with a beautiful, vibrant soul. <laughs> I've been attending South Point for 11 plus years and have been on staff for over a year now. I feel a connection to church like I've never felt before. Now I'm one of those standing up singing for joy. <laughs> Lessons I've learned. Life is not easy. Being a Christian is not easy. Wanting to be kind and righteous when the world is telling you not to is not easy. But someone is always there for me through thick and thin, accomplishments and mistakes. It's my Father God in heaven. How could someone love me for who I am? What a blessing that is. I want to leave you with one of my favorite Bible verses. Um, I wear it on my cross ring every day. It comes from Psalm 4610. Be still and know that I am God. But God, I've made so many mistakes. Be still. But I've done things my way, not yours, plenty of times. Be still and know. But my mind is racing and I feel so overwhelmed. Be still and know that I am God. Thank you for listening to my story today. And I just hope you know how much you matter to God. He made you, he loves you unconditionally more than anyone else ever will. Friends, I hope you have a wonderful day and remember how much you matter to God. Bye friends.